Should we freak out about American nuclear reactors in the path of Hurricane Florence? It is September, the end of summer in 2018. The Atlantic Ocean has been soaking up a lot of energy. Above the ocean, storm systems start to build and move towards the Caribbean, south and east coasts of the United States. There are three active systems in the Atlantic right now. The first of these to hit the US coast is called Florence. Hurricane Florence is making landfall around August 14, 2018 and is expected to reach the coast somewhere in the Carolinas between Myrtle Beach and Jacksonville. The problem with these storms is the sheer volume of water they are going to drop onto the land. All of that water has to run off in one way or another, but it can't. Thanks to the additional storm surge, large areas will become flooded. Some people fear that nuclear power plants are going to get flooded and something bad might happen. Consider for instance Tyler Durden's Zero Hedge article called Nuclear Power Plants at Risk of Direct Hit by Hurricane Florence. I quote, North and South Carolina nuclear power plants are in line for a possible direct hit from Hurricane Florence. According to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC, there are 12 operating nuclear power plants in the Carolinas that make electricity by the continuous splitting of uranium atoms, that is, a nuclear reaction. These plants generally reside near a body of water, a river, lake, estuary or ocean because they require a constant source of water for cooling purposes. Without cooling water, a nuclear reactor will overheat, leading to core damage, containment failure, and release of harmful radiation into the environment. In the case of Fukushima, the failure happened because the fail-safe systems got flooded indeed. The question here is whether the fail-safe systems of the plants in the US can be flooded in the first place. I highly doubt it. Fukushima has forced the entire nuclear industry to reevaluate the way they construct and defend their fail-safe systems. Further on, Durden issues this statement. Flooding from the storm could be catastrophic for the nuclear power plants. Excessive amounts of water can damage equipment or knock out the plant's electrical systems, disabling its cooling mechanisms. This is what happened at the Fukushima Daiichi plant in Japan as a result of the March 2011 tsunami, causing severe damage to the plant's reactors. They like to scare you with stories from Fukushima. Let's consider Lady Barbara Judge's rationale. Hello, I'm Lady Barbara Judge. I'm Deputy Chairman of the TEPCO Nuclear Reform Monitoring Committee, and I was asked to explain what safety culture is. So I thought I would give you an explanation that's not nuclear. Just think about driving a car. If you are driving your car and you hear a rattle and you have an appointment, if you have an appointment and you don't want to be late for it, you will hear the rattle but you'll drive on anyway. And if you drive on anyway, you may have an accident. And if you have the accident, you never get to your appointment. Start again. If you're driving along and you hear a rattle and you have a safety culture, you'll stop the car and find out what the rattle is. And you'll fix it if there's something wrong. And then you'll drive along and you'll get to your appointment, but you might be late, but you'll get there. The, the people on this side may have the accident and they never get there. The people on this side may be late, but they're safe. The safety culture is safety first, safety before schedule. If something happens that's out of the ordinary, find out what it is. Look for it, fix it, ask the hard questions, have a questioning attitude. Think, hmm, I must see what the rules are, follow them exactly, and don't worry if it makes me late. That's safety culture. All the organizations involved with nuclear have learned from Fukushima and have adapted plans and strategies to ensure that none of this will ever happen again. 
Let's consider what CNN has to say about the very same situation. Federal officials expressed confidence the six nuclear power plants in Hurricane Florence's path are safe, but some experts aren't so sure, warning that flooding and torrential rains could overwhelm their defenses. Now I disagree with the Union of Concerned Scientists, as they are very hawkish on any issue regarding nuclear energy. But let's consider this quote. In a press briefing, Jeff Biard, Associate Administrator for the FEMA Office of Response and Recovery, said the agency was not concerned about the power plants in the storm's path at this time. Those power plants are, 1. Obviously hardened. 2. They have backup generators for power and we will rapidly assess any impacts to a nuclear power plant post-storm, Biard said in a call with media. Obviously, it's something that we track and monitor but at this time we're not concerned with any issues pertaining to the nuclear power plants. And let's consider this next section. NRC spokesman Roger Hanna said if the report wasn't made public it may have been because the report contained security-related information, but he wasn't aware of the 2015 report's status. Hanna said the Brunswick plant was up to code ahead of the storm. We have inspected their storm protections. We have looked at their preparations, Hanna said. We're satisfied they met current NRC requirements. This, in itself, should give you much more confidence. The whole industry is aware of the storm and its possible effects, and they are prepared. Let's move on to this section. NRC spokesman Scott Bernal said the Brunswick plant is properly fortified to withstand hurricanes of Florence's strength, and there are plans in place to shut down if necessary. The Brunswick plant already has procedures in place both to shut down well in advance of hurricane effects actually occurring on site, Bernal said. The plant also has procedures in place to reinforce what are already robust defenses against flooding to ensure that it will remain safe as the storm passes by. In all, I think the American nuclear power plants are going to be fine. We've already seen many of these events happen to Turkey Point and other reactor facilities. The Southern Texas project proved that American reactor facilities can be hit with the most severe and heaviest storms and maintain operation with flying colors. I'll keep my fingers crossed because I always have some doubt, but I'm still confident enough that these reactors are going to pull through. If you're in the path of Florence, please be safe. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.